Good morning and welcome back to the channel. And today I am in Page, Arizona. As you could see, the drive up yesterday was a pretty beautiful drive. It actually was one of those that I um, kept my head on a swivel and I was kind of looking around. It kept me awake because it was a four and a half hour drive here from Phoenix, um, but I didn't mind it so much. But now that I'm here in Page, I'm gonna spend the next few days doing stuff like uh, the Grand Canyon, which I should have probably stayed in Flagstaff, but I thought I was gonna have more time yesterday from Phoenix, uh, but I started out a little later than I thought I would. So the drive from Phoenix took most of the day and I got here around sundown. So I'm gonna backtrack a few hours today, go to the North Rim, or actually no, the North Rim is closed, so I have to go to the South Rim. Uh, that's why it's gonna take some extra time. And then I'm also going to be doing the Horseshoe Bend, which is a beautiful place. I haven't seen it yet, but I'm going there right now. I'm uh, gonna get some morning shots with the sun uh, at my back here. And then on the way back, I'm actually gonna try to get sunset there. But I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Also, if you hadn't seen before, this is the little Mitsubishi Outlander that I got rented from Phoenix and I'm taking all the way to Moab. All right, now I'm gonna head off um, and try to get some of those morning shots of the Horseshoe Bend. All right, so I made it here to the parking lot at Horseshoe Bend. It's about a 20 minute walk, he said, from here to the actual um, ledge, I guess. And it costs $10 to park the car and just have kind of an all day pass here. Um, already the landscape is beautiful, just seeing over Lake Powell over there and then some other mesas and stuff in the distance. Pretty excited, actually. I haven't been able to do any traveling, at, like, you know, for the past like year and a half, two years almost with the, the COVID thing and a new job. So this is my first really big trip. as you can already tell, it's a beautiful day here. Um, another good thing, it's not really hot actually. It's only about 61 degrees because it is only roughly 8, 8.15 in the morning. So glad I'm not here at noon or something like that where it's 90 degrees and the sun is just beating down. So the landscape around here is pretty epic and uh, there's just one little like viewing platform with a gate around it and everything else is kind of open to the canyon floor there. And we've got these nice little ridges that we can walk on here, get some good views. Well, there's hardly a cloud in the sky and uh, this is an amazing place, I can't wait uh, until I get to see the Grand Canyon here a little bit later today. But I also think I do need to bring sunscreen to that because right now I've been here for maybe a half an hour and I can already feel the sun a little bit too much, a little more than I wanted. So I'm starting to venture a little bit further away from all the other tourists there. There's only like one or two people out here. Again, I can't stop saying how much I like the surrounding landscape, but just look at it. So as beautiful as this all is, I just looked at my watch and it's about 10 a.m. and I'm running a little late if I wanna to get to the south room to meet my cousin and his kids later. So I gotta head back to the parking lot. Uh, I was told that um, it's not a day pass that I purchased, so I do have to pay another $10 when I wanna come back for sunset, but that's all right with me, I'm only here once. Thank you. 
So as you can see, I've made it into the national park. Now I'm just kind of waiting here in line of all these cars to pay my $35 to have the vehicle in there for the day. And then uh, I got a few more miles before the South Rim. Canyon, or do you have a park pass? No, I do not. All right, so it's thirty-five dollars for one to seven days. Have you been or are going to any other national parks? Um, does it count in Utah as well, like Arches? Yeah, I need one then. Okay, so <laughs> it's eighty dollars for a year that works for every national park in the country. Is that what you want to do? I'll do it. Hope you have a great day. Thank have you. A beautiful time. I appreciate it. Good for a whole year. Have a good day. Due to world events in 2020 and 2021, many of the cafes and gift shops within the National Park were closed. Well, I just got into the National Park and paid my $80, which will actually get me an annual pass for all of the parks in the United States, which will come in handy for Arches and Canyonlands and Moab later this week. And now I'm at the uh, Watchtower, or I think it's Desert View Watchtower, which is like one of the first stops when you come in from the way I came in. Over millions of years, the waters of the Colorado River and her tributaries have cut their way through this landscape, leaving behind an immense scar in the Earth's crust, approximately 277 miles long, over a mile deep, and up to 18 miles wide in places. So if you're willing to come down a little ways past the uh, watchtower itself, you can actually kind of walk out on this little jetty here more into the canyon. Um, it's kind of silent out here. There's a nice little breeze, so it's not too hot. The sun is still uh, shining a little bit there, but it's behind the clouds. And I don't even know why you're listening to me talk anymore. Just look. There's just a single mesa just off in the distance over there. Kind of see right here. You can see the bends in the river down there. This is just a spectacular landscape. I don't even know how to describe it. I can already tell you when I have more time to come up here again, I'm gonna come here and go hiking. I didn't spend a lot of time here, but I'm gonna head to the South Rim. That's been my main goal today, so that I can get back for sunset at uh, the Horseshoe Bend. But pretty much everything here is closed except for the restrooms. Finally, I've made it to the Grand Canyon South Rim Visitor Center. It is a mask mandated place, so I've gotta keep this mask on at least while I'm in the more public areas. And it's starting to get a bit hotter out here, but I'm going to go try to find some sunscreen and see if uh, I can find the south rim here. I think it's Mather Point that I'm walking toward right now. Those people off in the distance have no railing. Not gonna lie, this mask is double layered and it's getting pretty hot and a little muggy under there. So every time I go up to the uh, crater rim and there's a little bit of a breeze, I let the, the mask go a bit and use that. couldn't not leave the Grand Canyon National Park without uh, stopping a few more times off to the side of the road, which I've got a good view here. I'm gonna take another view, probably a little bit down more near the uh, watchtower where I came in. I saw a few good ones on my way up to the South Rim, so I uh, hope you enjoy. Just 
below the top, you see that nice white band of rock going all around there? Well, that nice white band of rock is called the Coconino Sandstone, and it's about three to 400 feet thick. So it's just after seven and I have made it back to Horseshoe Bend for sunset because it's going to be about an hour from now and it's a lot cooler and windier than it was before. So after a long day of being on the road, I've stopped at the Birdhouse here to get the Eddie Special, which is a combination of their spicy and their butter chicken sandwich. So I'm um, just having a quiet night in and gonna head to Moab tomorrow. Well, I can definitely say that chicken sandwich and the uh, mac and cheese there were two of the best I've had in a long time.